Hello my fellow Wasteland Wanderers, and welcome to my Fallout 4 Creation Club mod review of the Chinese Stealth Armour. Worn by both the Crimson Dragoon troops and Black Ghost Counterinsurgency squads during the Great War, Chinese Stealth Armour relies on light modulation technology to render its wearer virtually invisible. Creation obtained through quest. So let's go ahead and do the quest, get the armour, see what it looks like, see what its features are, and at the end of the video I'll give it a review out of 5. So, let's do it. Okay, so to obtain the Chinese stealth armor, you need to steal it from the South Boston military checkpoint, which is here on the map. So you just need to kill a few gunners, um, get into the checkpoint and steal it from a trunk in the corner of the checkpoint. So the armor itself has a damage resistance of 62, a weight of 24 and a value of 750. The damage resistance is pretty poor, especially when you consider the alternatives with ballistic weave and other types of armor you can get in the game. The damage resistance is pretty low, but obviously that is outweighed by the fact that you can turn yourself virtually invisible, meaning that a lot of the time you won't really need the damage resistance because the aim of this armor is to not get hit. I personally think it would have been a lot cooler if you had to obtain the armor from the Yanks which is a Chinese submarine sent to the US Atlantic coast before the Great War, uh, captained by a guy called Zhao, but obviously there's already a quest around that, so it would have been difficult to implement, but I think it would have been pretty sweet. I am Zhao. Zhao from China, captain of my beautiful Yangtze. Now let's have a look at the armor's aesthetics. Now the armor does actually look really damn cool. It definitely shouts stealth, considering that it's all black, so obviously you would be harder to see in the night. It's got some uh, sort of a futuristic vibe. It's got like a, a synth, almost a synth vibe to it, almost like the helmet looks a bit like the synth helmet in a way, but it does look pretty damn cool and it definitely looks, looks the part for sure. Now you might be thinking, why would I bother with this armour when there's legendary pieces of armour that you could wear that would render you invisible when going into crouch mode? Well, obviously that would give you much higher damage resistance because you could wear ballistic weave underneath and then wear armour on top and get a really high damage resistance and still get invisibility. But the only thing is with the legendary variant of invisibility, when you crouch, yes, you go invisible, but if when you start moving once you're crouched, you instantly go out of invisibility Visibility, but the difference of this armor is that you can actually move around whilst crouched and you will stay invisible So it's basically like having a stealth boy at all times, but only when you're crouched um, So that is obviously going to be a lot better for stealth than the legendary variant Which takes you out of stealth whenever you move just one quick thing to note If you didn't already know when you go invisible in Fallout 4 and you try and enter your pit boy It's really difficult to see because obviously your pit boy has gone invisible So you can kind of just about see the display, but it's quite fiddly so just a warning. Now once you activate the stealth mode and you start moving around it does actually use up action points so when you're completely still and you're in invisibility mode it doesn't use up any action points but when you start moving which is obviously the special feature of this invisibility it does start using up your AP so if you've got really low AP it might not you might not be able to move around for very long but if you've got quite a lot of AP then it is just very powerful and very very useful so just keep that in mind and also when you initiate the invisibility it now makes like a little sound effect which also transfers to the legendary armor piece invisibility so when you initiate invisibility there is now a cool little sound effect which I guess is nice if you're going to use this mod I would 100% recommend that you use it with a character that you have the blitz perk with because this armor matched up with blitz makes for a pretty deadly pairing Unfortunately, there are absolutely no modifications you can make to the Chinese stealth armor, which kind of sucks. I would like to have seen a damage resistance increase mod and potentially some miscellaneous mods such as deep pocketed or some more sciencey mods, like maybe some sort of targeting HUD, like you see on power armor, because obviously it does include some sort of technology. So that would have been nice to see, um, and it's definitely a negative on the mod that there is no customization. Another thing to note about the Chinese stealth armor is that it doesn't make you completely invisible, it makes you virtually invisible. So this means you can um, activate the invisibility, walk up to someone and expect them not to see you whatsoever. Obviously if you get too close to them they're either going to hear your footsteps or they're going to see the slight sort of outline effect that the invisibility makes. So just keep that in mind when using this armor. 
So now it's time for me to give my overall review of the mod. So overall, I think it's pretty cool. The stealth armor effect is pretty nice. The fact that it stays in stealth when you move is obviously a big plus. The armor itself looks awesome. It does look really cool. I did feel like a stealthy badass whilst using it, which is always a positive. Is it something that I would use in my playthroughs? Definitely. Um, I def I always use stealth in any sort of Bethesda game, whether it be Skyrim or Fallout. So this is something that I would definitely use for sure. Is it worth the money? Probably not. If you've got PC, then it's definitely not worth the money because there is literally the exact same mod, but twice as good on the mod Nexus that you can get absolutely free. So there's absolutely no reason for you to get this mod if you're on PC. But if you're on console, definitely think about it. If you're using a stealth character and you think that this would help and you would enjoy using it and you think it looks cool, then maybe it's worth it for you. But obviously it's down to your personal opinion and how much money you've got to spend. So now it's time to give it a rating out of 5 and I'm going to rate it on a scale of 0 to 5 deacons. Deacon, where have you been all my life, handsome? Waiting for you, beautiful. 0 being the worst and 5 being the best. I'm going to give this mod 2 deacons. The downside of this mod and the reason I've given it 2 is because there is absolutely no customization, which absolutely sucks. There definitely should have been some sort of customization, and that maybe would have bumped it up to a 3. But of course, because you've got to pay for it, it's just it's not that great considering that you have to spend money to get it. So that's my overall review of this mod. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Now I'm going to leave you with a little compilation of me stealthily taking down some enemies whilst wearing the armor if you did enjoy the video leave it a like and hit the subscribe button i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the future for more videos see ya Shadows. Yeah, yeah. Probably right. Ah! Gotta cut down on the jet, I guess. Yeah. <laughs>